Okay, so we have come to yet another part of the tutorial on how to make donut in Blender. So, so this part is texture paint, and uh, this one is optional if you don't want to make any changes to this color of donut. So you can skip the part if you want to, but it's good to know how to do this. So I would say you should try this. You should do this. You should not skip it. But if you are happy with this plain uh, color, I mean the this kind of orange or yellow whatever color you uh, you call it. If you just want this color, you don't need to do anything. But we're gonna add a little bit of a different color. Um here on the donut so let's do it so right now we have this color ramp thing which is uh making this donor donut look like this you know this color so for now we're gonna delete this click and delete and we're gonna add something here add um, texture and we're gonna go to um, image image texture okay we're gonna go to image texture and we're gonna connect this color to base color so right now it's white so basically Im image texture uh, what it does is you have a if you have a picture it just uh, wraps that picture around the donut but here instead of using picture which we can do by clicking here browse image to uh, you know use the image whatever image you want we're not going to browse and use image instead we're going to create a create an image with plain color we can do that with this image texture for that you're gonna click new so here you can give a uh, like a donut color or whatever you call it and width and height we're gonna change this to 512 512 okay and let's choose the color right now it's black if you click here and bring this lighter up and choose a color which looks like the color of donut okay and yeah and then now uncheck this alpha we don't need alpha click ok so now wait for a while and yeah you have this color okay if you are not happy with this color you can change it later but yeah right now this is what you get so okay once you get this color uh, what you can do is now you can go to texture paint okay so when you go to texture paint you have selected you have created this new image which is actually an image but it doesn't have anything except this plain color so if you zoom in and uh, okay so this is the donut and this is the color and now we're going to add if you okay wait a minute. if you use the scroll wheel of mouse and do this here you can see the other options here and this is the option here uh let me see okay this is white okay there's white and black you can just choose white and black whatever you choose but uh okay right now we only need this white so the white is active so if, if it's not white you can go to color and choose white okay after that we're gonna choose strength right now it's one which is very very strong we're gonna choose 
0. Point something. Okay, let's try. Yeah. And radius, very small. Okay. So as you can see, if you if you paint on this donut, you can also see it paints on this image too. So whether you paint on this image or on donut, we get the same result. It just uh, just how I mean how you prefer, whatever you prefer. Okay. So I'm gonna. Uh, Paint it on donut. You can just click and paint like this. Click a few times on the same spot to make it uh, look more um, visible. So this is uh, a part of donut uh, which looks kind of white. So if you don't want this white uh, shade or white color on your donut, you can skip this part. Okay. But generally, uh, it would be better to not skip this part so that your donut looks more realistic. Um, I think uh, we're almost good to go. Okay. Okay, so we have painted this, and now we can come back to shading. Uh, okay, before going to shading, you see this image thing here. If you See here, uh, it has kind of like asterisk or star, whatever you call it, this sign. It's it's there because you haven't uh, saved the image. This is the image and we have made changes, but we haven't um, saved the image. Another thing is you, you can see that there's a donut color here. So when you're painting on this image, you can see that there is donut color. Uh, the, the, uh, the name is given by me right now. So you have, you might have given a different name on it. You can see that it's donut color. If it shows up, you know that we are, you're painting on this one, okay? The donut color, uh, which is the name of the image. So yeah, you have to look on this thing too. But generally, once you, you know, go to this shading part and add image uh, texture, you're obviously on this thing here. But still, you, you if you want to make, you want to make uh, show that you're uh, painting on this image, you should see this part. Okay. So what I was saying was, if you go to image and then you have this option, save or save as whatever you do. Click on save as, or you can just save and save. Now the sign is not there anymore. Okay. Okay. Now you have done saving. Let's go to shading again. Come back to shading. Wait for a while. It's going to show the color. Okay. Now this is what we want. Okay. This is the donut we want to see is a kind of shade of a white color on the middle part of the donut. So that's what we want. Uh, but we also want to uh, maintain the noise texture on this donut. Right now it doesn't have that noise. Okay, it's just plain. So we don't want to lose the noise. We have this noise texture here, but it's not connected to this principal BSDF. So to do that, uh, 
we're going to add one more thing here. Add, uh, sorry, we're going to go to add, choose color, and then mix RGB. Come here and drop it. Okay. Now what happens here is the mix color is, uh, the output is connected to this base color. And the image image texture, the color of the image, image texture goes to color one. It has another option, color two. Now we're gonna go here and choose the factor here and connect this to color two. Okay. So now, so there's this factor zero point five here. You can see. So what happens here, here is it uh, um, mixes this color one and two, and you can just drag towards right or left to make one of the colors intense. If you go towards color one, which is to the left side, you see more of the plain color. If you go to color two, that's towards right side, you see the noise. But the blending thing is not good here right now. So you can see it says mix, which is one of the blending options. Click here and you're going to go to overlay. Okay. Now if you, okay, if you drag towards right, yeah. now you can see the noise is there. It's increasing the noise, but still it has got the plain uh, color maintained so just drag it towards right a little bit and i think that's good enough for the noise okay so we have now if you come to layout we have done we're done with the node thing here so let's come to layout and yeah if you see this, you have this donut with noise, with a bump, with this white color, and yeah, we can unhide other objects by clicking, clicking, uh, pressing Alt H. So yeah, you can now see this kind of donut. Go to render and you see this okay if you hide the icing you can see this thing here okay so this is what we have created so far and uh yeah so you want to practice this part um once or twice and once you are confident with this part you can Go to next part so see you in the next part